Hello there everybody and welcome to Tale of Tape for John Cena Chain Gang. This time it's Acrobat Cena uh, for a 5 star bronze and this will be the first 5 star bronze review. Now a little bit of history before I begin this video. Um, when I started uh, uh, thinking of making a review list, uh, Cena was one of the first superstars that I wanted to do it. Uh, but still, uh, that time we didn't have any ruthless aggression era in the game. Uh, there were only three Cena, uh, the showboat one, which everybody has, and there was a powerhouse Cena, uh, and he was from the Attitude Era at that time. But uh, yeah, they have placed him under the Ruthless Aggression now, and we have this Acrobat Cena as well in the Ruthless Aggression. So I was hoping maybe there will be a Trickster Cena called Doctor of Thugonomics, so I waited like two, three years to see that, but eventually there happens to be a lot of cena now um there's eight other uh cena in the game so i feel like this is the guy that they think is dr thugnomics so yeah with that out of the way i will just uh start this review and um yeah it's acrobat cena finally hey, i'm doing a review on him and let's begin uh let's check out his stats real quick um it's uh one hollow star so every move uh, every gem actually is reduced by 10 percent damage and also he has uh, the five star perks that uh, is going to be there always the gem dodge three percent uh, for across is always there and also um his entourage skill is the best at the moment for blue gems blue gem damage for gives 45 percent also 35 percent for the yellow gems so yeah he's one uh, good trainer for blue gems uh, one thing um his max training ability of those gems is uh, at sixteen thousand. so that's the only reason you could uh, take him to sixteen thousand. you max him at uh, five star bronze you get to sixty thousand. so that's the spot you want to hit at least and uh, here are the links that he has nexus uh cena nexus i don't think he was a part of during this period so i don't know why they have this link uh there's um uh, wrestlemania links obviously he was part of all almost every wrestlemania since his uh being part of wwe so but in the game we have these links there's bailey and john cena link i would call these the strap links the straps that we have uh, for that we have this link and uh, then they have the ruthless aggression which is a, uh, i wouldn't call now it's a new era but yeah he is definitely a part of that era um link with other ruthless aggression characters gives a uh, plus one epi charge on every ma gem match you do so yeah that's about it for that trainer link here moves moves are discussed in a bit stats i think it's in the picture and also on the portal if you guys uh, need to verify anything all right so let's go to the uh, before straps i will go to the moves so this is the moves that i'll be using in this review um right off the bat we can see that there are several moves that are sort of okay-ish but they don't have synergy i mean um there's a lot of uh directions your move sets can go but there's no uh coherence to every move that you can place uh, in a single move set so this is the best that i could make out uh, in this um, um, setup for example um, this is the throwback move we have a move that converts yellows to blue fine uh, sit out hip toss and this is going to make heal gems uh, six heal gems and there's a springboard stunner which converts the heal gems into red so it's sort of recycling we can also use the finisher right here but uh, i feel like finisher takes a long time to reload uh, because it's not a direct conversion if this was a choose move it would have been something different but yeah a random is never dependable and uh, 10 mp finisher is go always going to take a long time to do that so yeah that uh, this move is out of the out of the setup that i'm using also five knuckle shuffle is a yellow move and it's going to convert the yellows to red um at this time uh, at five stars this move is pretty much outdated there's 
um, definitely no place for moves like this which convert their own color into something else and there's leaping clothesline uh, which is going to convert the reinforced gems into heels uh, heel gems so if you are facing a reinforced gem opponent yeah it's good but then again nine heel gems is not enough which also is going to be a big task to uh, destroy those heal gems and get like 9000 health which is nothing actually sit out power uh, power bomb is another move that is going to convert uh, i mean that is going to convert any gem into reinforce that means you can choose uh, gems to make reinforced gems actually so it's there for you to make heal gems in a way so these two moves are tied up I actually tried this move set uh, getting this and this and the finisher so uh, with the kids lighting skill plate the skill plate that is going to convert uh, all the purples into blue if you make any yellow match it was hectic it was uh, good and some parts but it was never dependable so i just uh, dished that move set and also the skill plate and uh, then we have the six star move if you ever decide to make him a six star by the way uh, there's a move which makes multiply gems so once again this goes into the multiply gem direction but there's no syn uh, synergy i would say i lack of a better word i think uh, it's not co um, uh, making sense to have a multiply gem and no other move that helps multiply gems so yeah it's weird 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 setup weird design definitely outdated it. it's been four or four years since i've seen this uh, setup with this design so yeah yeah uh, maybe a revamp but then again uh, there are eight other cena there's no reason to revamp acro cena but we'll see how his stats go um stats i mean uh, stats for the review so yeah rating will be up in the review video all right so now for the entourage i have uh, this entourage right here um there's uh, batista who is going to boost one mp at the start plus the boost to the red moves red move damage is by 40 percent 40 yeah 50 percent so it's 50 percent boost to these plus there's also a one mp uh, charge at the start so yeah batista is there there's plenty of options instead of batista you can uh, use mp trainer a sting or uh, the showboat um who was the showboat for mp why i'm blanking out um yeah you know the guy uh, who is another red mp trainer uh, butch yeah butch yes um, actually there's another butch in the uh, roster now <laughs> so yeah i got confused anyway um there's a uh, blue big, big john stud uh, who is also going to boost the red uh, gems conversion uh, he jumps into red so he's giving four more plus he's going to give something for the yellow moves as well uh, this is not important it's just the red gems that i need then we have hogan he is uh, actually an essential um, coach for every superstar now <laughs> so yeah i'm just placing him there because there's a lot of gem inter uh, interaction right now with this move set so yeah uh, for a lack of a better coach i have just placed him and then there's uh, x pack who is going to boost one epi charge for every red match you make so this also needs um some boost even if uh big john Strat is over there so you guys will see it in the gameplay so the stats now look uh, like this it's just a five star with a hollow so everything is reduced by 10 percent bear that in mind and uh, right now the max damage from a blue gem is 70 80 and also for the red gem is 62 62 all credits to hogan all right uh, now that's uh, the entourage now let's go to the strap real quick and i'll start the game place so for the strap i have gone with uh, the most important thing that i need right now is uh, uh, the armor and uh, armor because uh, there's no real uh, way to get gem damage for a uh, heal gem superstar heal gem superstars uh, have their gems cancel out to zero whatever you put it so yeah there's have to be there there has to be a move damage or mm, gem defense uh, that makes sense for these heal gem guys so yeah i have gone with gem defense i have given him double armor just so that uh, the um, kick out will be possible since i don't do much damage 
uh, cure damage will be good enough and also I would take less damage and heal myself more in the process so that is going to uh, help my survival in the match so right now armor is boosted to 58.6% 58.6% is decent but not good not great I would say um, this is the plate for any Cena, that's why I've been using this. Uh, but if there is a plate for Ruthless Aggression Acrobat with 100% gem defense, I would go with move damage instead for all this because 100% armor is all that that's needed for any superstar actually. So yeah, um, it's just move damage and uh, armor that I'm focusing on. The move damage has been boosted to 30,000. Uh, 299 not the percentage because the base damage is very low and uh, boosting that in percentage is not going to take you any big uh, because 100 percent of 27 will be 54 and 54 is nothing and if you go with the uh, flat damage it will take you higher up to 60k so that's the reason why i'm using the flat damage and uh, flat damage also can be um, brought up to 60,000 if you have a tier 5 medal so yeah that's one thing right now this is the setup i'm using and also the skill plate which is a surprise i would say and uh, sort of weird in this situation since i have been boosting i've been talking about boosting the move damage so yeah this is the only plate that boosts the um red move red moves i'm um, since i'm using two red moves uh, if if you break six red gems the red moves are boosted by 75 percent so right here you can see on a scenario where i break the red gems the red move damage will be boosted by 77 plus batista gives 50 percent so it will be 125 percent more damage and the blue move damage it acts as a finisher so you do need more damage on this i would recommend a tier 5 medal if you're using the setup yep that's about it and let's move on to the gameplay i think i've explained everything all right the first opponent that we are going to face is his rival from the ruthless aggression <laughs> era and yeah it's edge rated r superstar rated r superstar is also five star bronze using mp trainer plus an mp charge guy he has a submission i don't have a submission reduction coach right now but i think i can manage and also he is going to use this recycling move set all right let's begin let's see how it goes i have not faced edge before making this video so I, even i need to explore this part of the game yep first match if you are new i will be facing 10 opponents two matches against each and i have selected opponents that i have never featured in any of the reviews before so yeah All right, right off the bat, we are going to get red. Always prioritize red before blues because this is something is going to help you with the blues. So always go with reds. All right. I've given him a purple. A bit of a distraction, I guess, but next turn he's going to do the submission i got no counter by the way so it's going to slow down the process a little bit <sighs> i'm finally doing this review it's so surreal for me by the way <laughs> it all started with some of these guys that i will make a review video back when Alright, that will be all. So once again, go for the reds always. To make some purples and also he has the finisher ready. If I can survive. Alright. We have a TLC match in our hands. <laughs> Edge versus Cena. <laughs> Not particularly a TLC match but... All right, 49k it is. Let's take out some of the black gems in the process. He's going to take seven yellow gems into blue. All 
I'll try to eliminate these colors. Yeah, this will do, I guess. So right now, if I uh, destroy the reds, I get a boost to my red gems. Um, and that's by 75% so there's some boost there it has become uh, 68,000 with the crits all right calm down so right now there are plenty of reds on the board this would be a good way to get blues as well all right so the double armor uh, was needed just for this to keep the opponents down all right that was the first match not bad my hp is like 75 percent regenerated and also i won the matches turns uh, it's expected i'm going to be slow it's an ancient superstar trying to compete with modern day superstars so yep that's expected this that was the first match against edge let's go once again to seal the deal against his arch nemesis all right there's no red match something new right here um i prefer going with the blues but i don't want to get him the black gems if there's a purple match he's going to go for it yeah there's the dodge as well there's the red match always go for the reds it makes you a bit quicker and i'm going to pin him for no reason but I have to take that submission, I guess. Mm, get some colors that he needs uh this one is going to go away i uh, don't want to pick something that i would need but still it's gone okay uh any red match that i can set up i don't see one okay all right um yeah All right. Uh, this will go this way. Give me some reds already. So yeah, X Park as a coach is needed for this. As you can see, the reds are scarce, and also we need a way to recycle them. That's out. Now then, the reds are here. I gladly take this. It definitely begins um, to take off very slow. 
I mean, all his moves are ready the first time, and it's a setup for the second time with the skill plate. But yeah, it, it does take a long time to get it all started. I'll just uh, do one thing. I'll just um, try to get. Two columns destroyed in this case probably not a good decision but we will see didn't get any blue gems in the process so yeah it turned out way different than what expected hopefully it doesn't uh, get the yellows yeah it didn't get any yellows That's fine. Because now I'm going to get those. Alright. Uh, could have been better if... Um... Could have been better if I didn't pin him there. But... All right, I think it's done. Uh, let me convert some of the yellows just to do some damage. It's not big enough. Uh, my skill plate power lasts only for two turns, so one thing to consider. Also, I've seen that I don't uh, heal or maybe it doesn't show up in the UI when I'm finishing the match. Should heal? Yeah, it does heal. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't know what's the issue there. Maybe it will come on uh, video. I will see that. So right now it's around 45% health retention. That's yeah, that's not good at all. But <laughs> everything is going to, going to go into the stats for review. All right, that's about it for Edge. Next opponent. All right, the next opponent that I'm going to face is Ricochet, another modern era and uh, one of the modern superstars in this game. Um, another acro. Uh, my talent would be 17657, by the way, if I didn't have that hollow. And uh, Ricochet is using the three color moveset uh, with uh, something of a recycling moveset and the multiplied gem damage. I think I'm going to get hammered with those <laughs> uh, multiplies. He's also having uh, strength. Uh, booster with Matt Hardy plus two, and yeah, Akira Tozawa. I don't have a submission, bro. Yeah, let's see how it goes. I am uh, 60 70 70% sure I won't win this match. Probably, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. The setup uh, might do some miracles. Who knows. The one and only finally i think ricochet will be something different now that triple h is in charge always go for the red okay yeah that's nice nice of him to go for a uh, finisher hopefully he does the finisher thanks Right. Yellows are set up. Hopefully I get the blues that I need. This one would be awesome. This part. Every blue gem eventually. Alright, so now this is almost a dream sequence. Uh, everything I need is right here. Mm, I got six to make, so I would prefer destroying a lot of the board I would have gone this way as well but yeah this is better I feel destroying columns ah it's 
still made a wild jump for himself. I go for the blues. <laughs> and he has given me another chance to refill. That's nice. Nice of him. He knows I'm making a video. Uh this part. I to do. But still I need one more turn. And I'll go for the red. You go for the blues, please. Oh. Awesome. Okay, so now. Mm, I would go this way. How can I make a lot of destruction? I would uh, prefer destroying this part and this part of this. I feel like I could do a lot. And this part is going to fall over. Yeah, that's about it. Alright, I could have done better there, I guess. Multiplies incoming. Mm, no recycle whatsoever now. Is there a way I can take away his gems? I don't think there is. Alright. Mm, this might end up being a match where I have been defeated. Let's just put it this way. Let's see. Let's see. All those multiplies with 4. Let's go to do some damage but double armor has helped me in this case double armor yep double armor um what is this no chance of recycling wow all right let's see uh, he's going to get greens. Uh, he's in a way doing more damage, getting his moves ready. The board is not in the favor of him. Alright, I'll do this. Hmm. Now then, it's a in a weird way. I'm just struggling to get my gems. Let's get these loot gems out of the way. I'm just predicting the future. <laughs> I need a way to kick out, right? Mm -hmm. That's a lot of multiply gems to deal with. I think I'm done. Or maybe I can still kick out. Do this. Ah, uh, I get the double. On the double. Why though? Ah, uh, this is the part that I feel like. Uh, there's no multiply on the board, so uh, in a way, managed to stay alive. Finally. <laughs> Alright then. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Eventually won the match. So I have not lost a single match till now. That's good. That's more than what I expected actually. <laughs> Some sort of feeling there. But a lot of HP lost. So... Yeah, his heal gems are lacking a lot of power, a lot of strength. It's the early design that they have um, still kept it in the game. 
These days heal gems go up. Even lead gems go up to 100k, so it's so outdated the stats. And the second match against Ricochet, that was a long one. Um, so far the worst rating that uh, was given was for Ronda. I feel like she has gotten better with the 6 star move but still. Um, in a way, her, star, uh, her rating is not going to uh, be that different from what she had at the 5 star silver. Still relevant. That's what I feel, by the way. It's not confirmed. Uh, which color gem would I pick? I would give him the blues. Take the blues, buddy. I don't want to give you the greens. And he takes the greens. He knows. Yeah, he knows. Um, let's go this way, let's go this way, let's go this, trying to do the maximum, in a way I'm destroying a lot of yellows but that's fine, I'll get more yellows. Going for the greens in a way. So my yellow gems are set up. I can never uh, predict where these yellows are going to fall. Nice. That's the perfect <laughs> perfect way it has fallen over this way. I think it's fine. I'll place one here and place um it's going to go fall here yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. i know i'm going to put it somewhere that one is out of place actually anyway i think i, I will get enough damage just by doing this much one extra heal gem How much is it? 135. Which is enough, I guess. Yep. Alright. So far, so good. One match always goes a completely different way. One match goes way beyond expectations. So, yeah. Alright. On to the next opponent, guys. Next opponent is Bobby Road. Uh, after facing the contemporary, uh, the uh, acrobat, I have the showboat now. I have the class advantage in this case. Bobby Road is one of the superstars who was okayish at four, uh, four star. I mean, he was great at four star, but he was one guy who would recycle. And uh, at four star level, the recyclers are always the top guys at that time, but now it's important you don't leave home without <laughs> recycling any superstar that doesn't re recycle needs a lot of move damage so that's the design they have gone with at five stars and cena's weakness <laughs> are both move damage and recycling so i have tried to make it um viable with the recycling but that's the point of this video how much this setup is reliable? We are going to find out. Bobby Road is one heck of a recycler. At least at the beginning when uh, there were pretty rare recyclers on the board. Gem Dodge. Gem Dodge. I could have done this right in the previous move. What was I doing? Previous turn I mean. 
he's going to do the recycling stuff he's going to begin with that there's no real um, submission involved in this case so I'm fine with MP just need a chance to do that before that if he's going to finish me mm, that's the AI botch I think you, are, you should have gone with the reinforce move first but now he's going for it it's difficult to make the right AI as well I guess for these superstars there's so many uh, parameters that you need to know how this board is going to function and they have to use the moves in the right way it might be easy probably but in my opinion yeah it's always going to be difficult i'll just go for this there are so many i'll go for this and i'll go a random area unfortunately i'll just take his purple Just imagine if he has a health uh, heal gem of strength uh, 50k or something. That would make this moveset viable. Not the best, but still it would make some sense. But then again, I say, as I said, uh, there's no need to revamp him at this point because there's so many superstars in this game eight other Cena in this game what do you think do you like acro Cena in a way Moose I'm getting for two turns it says 75% boost so I'm getting a boost on those red moves so anyway I'm doing damage not just with the gems also with the moves he's struggling to recycle there I can see his pain he's struggling he's crying in the corner right now but uh, I need to take advantage of this was a nice cascade <laughs> more than what I expected I was only looking for a couple yeah that will do it Hogan Hogan OP all right that was the first match against Bobby Roode went pretty well unexpected and I saw him struggle to recycle he was one of the best recycles recyclers at the four star level but Alright, the second match. First match was great. Why do I feel like I won't win any match when I face this opponent? Only the first match lets you know how it can go. By the way, these are not uh, um, these matches are not prepared for the best outcome. I just go in selecting a superstar and see how it goes, and that's in the video. There's no prep for how good these matches can go so yeah that's one thing no red match yet dodge it um, there's some reds Having no red match at the beginning slows you down really, really. Uh, it takes more turns to do the things that you want to do. One of the basic traits of ancients, not the right trait, but it's one 
thing that uh, keeps them down still. That isn't convert uh, purples or yellows. Or oh, destroy yellows. Okay. I'll just take this. Get some reds on the board. I think uh, I will uh, preserve some reds in a way. Yeah, this will be fine. Uh, he took yellows, so what's the point of having that? No need to use that move, I guess, then. Uh, I'll just go for this. 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 And then I'll get this. So there's three rows that are going to be destroyed. Also heal in the process. This is the first legit damage that I did to Bobby Road in this match. 216? Wow, he managed to kick out. That was the kick out I wouldn't expect from a 5-star bronze acro Cena, to be specific. There are superstars who can do that. The new age superstars, but this guy is an ancient. Left out a long time ago. That was awesome actually. Quite surprised with that kick <laughs> without damage. Yeah, this will be fine. A lot of loot jumps on the board. There's only a few. Uh, he's getting a purple in no matter what. What? What is he going for? <laughs> dodge it. Uh, he must be so frustrated with the dodge. Um, I'll go for purples. What? Did I win this match? 88k. Uh, and of course, he's a showboat. I didn't realize. Yeah. Just like the ruthless aggression Cena, he wins unexpected. Yeah, goes with his gimmick actually. Anyway, on to the next opponent. Black, zombie black. So, this guy is a 5 star bronze with the health pool of 818, I have only 670, sad. And the damage that we can see right here is even, that's almost 60% uh, of my health pool I guess, 399, 200. Um, so I don't see a chance to win this match and even submission is only for 3 turns but there's 53 submission jumps on the board. There's only 49 jumps and he's going to do 53. It's weird. Yeah, just checking if he's a 5 star bronze. Alright. I <laughs> uh, got it out there. Anyway, let's begin. I guess this will be my first loss. I keep saying that, but Cena has survived so far. Alright. It's going to be one heck of a fight. Emma, I miss Alistair in WWE. Now that uh, NXT is going back to what it was, uh, not NXT, I mean main roster is going back to what NXT was, oh, I definitely want to see all the NXT guys back, but it's not going to happen. They are all well set in AW or other places in back. All these guys, Alistair Black, Karrion Cross. Everyone, I mean, that's the last thing I, I used to watch a lot in WWE, but 
am I going for? Trying to save the reds instead. Uh, any other match other than blue? I don't see one. But yeah, let's go for it. Oh, it's silenced, right? I forgot about that. I won't be getting any MP for silence. If he gets to his finisher, it's done. There's no, there's no uh, going back. Wow. Choose moves. OP much? I won't be getting to my... Moves at all. That's the finisher. 3.99. And I'm done. I don't think I can kick out of that. <laughs> In any way. He stuns himself by the way. Wow. There's no defense against moves. So obviously. I won't be getting up from this. So the first real fight. That I have lost. Alistair Black, you are awesome. Zombie Black. In a weird way, uh, I feel uh, satisfied, I should say. Um, it was all happy-go-lucky till now. So, yeah. Um, just tells you how Sina is. He's slow, he heals less, and uh, he's outdated definitely. With the move damage of around 399k, and uh, my moves doing 30k, it's, it's pretty obvious who has a better design. No more reds, I'm trying to get reds. Get something, get something purple or something. Yeah. And a dodge. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. Ah, uh, next turn he's going to get greens. So, yeah, that's that. I'll try to make some red matches. Three turns, right? Three turns. Um. Reds, where are you at? Reds aren't falling, guys. No reds. This is going to give him the finisher, I think. Last time it gave him, right? There it is. There's no kicking out of that. Nope. All that casket is just invalid. Um, there's no protection against the gem damage like that. It's too it's too OP for Sina. All right, two losses against Alistair Black, and we head on to the next opponent. All right, the next opponent is after Zombie. It's going to be Motu. Motu Savage. He is Savage. With this move set, he has a bleed, twenty-six percent chance though. But bleed does two seventy-nine, and it's for. 10 turns so even uh, i uh, even my uh, death uh, reincarnation and everything everything is going to bleed out <laughs> till i die then then there is uh, this choose move as well there's a gain mp move so yeah all these things cena hasn't seen he's pretty old 
for all the all such design so yeah uh, it's going to be losing streak i guess all right also the class advantage goes to the opponent and um, i have zero percent um I predict. I say I, it's a zero percent chance for Cena to win. Not even a red match. That's one thing. Give me a miracle red match. No, doesn't. All right, that's it, guys. <laughs> uh, no red match yet. It's not red match. Since that choose move is going to take away all the reds, I don't think I can survive. Oh! Not using a red MP trainer, okay. But he's going to take red, it's primary. No, he doesn't take that even. Oh. It's a 26% chance. I guess I would call that. Um, what, what the hell? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what happened there? 26% chance to do a 279k bleed damage and it's for 10 turns so I can survive if it didn't trigger this does only one so I have like a 26% chance to win but if that triggers I'm done stop it already Okay. It's the I have bled twice. And I'm going to do um that's done, right? Let's see how much I can recover. The bleed damage is on, so I guess I'm dead. That lag this time is not for me winning, but me losing, I guess. Yep, predicted exactly. Is it 26% on every turn? Or is it every turn gives you a 26% chance? I never looked into that, but... Okay, <laughs> that I got the answer right away. Um, it's a 26% chance every turn. Alright. I can still win this, I guess. Um, I'd go for this. I'd go for this. And hope for the best. Now then. Uh, I'm still bleeding but there's no blood. <laughs> uh, this is going to destroy this part. I'll just take this portion to get blues. Man, I have been fighting in my deathbed and I have managed to get out victorious. That was incredible. One, two, three. I mean, the survival has been incredible. 
not in a way that uh, I <laughs> I would say destroyed my opponent, but yeah, survived the way through. All right, that was unexpected. I didn't expect. Uh, in a way, I think the twenty six percent chance made me um, win. In a way, twenty six percent chance to not fail. 26% chance to get the bleed. Okay. This second match is going to seal the deal with Moto Savage because that bleed damage is super OP if it happens. Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. I'll go for the blues. You see this? Don't want to get that bleed right off the bat. Take some time. No reds once again. Hate that. There is the red, and he's going to take it, I guess. Yep. I set it up, and he takes it away. That's ongoing. Oh. Some more reds is going to take away. By the way, for the skill plate, I have thought about almost colossal um, colossal chain. Uh, but then again, what it would do is get the reds. Oh, that animation is just weird. That um, the thing I want to say is uh, you get reds on the board with that plate but the thing is you are making reds when you are pinning the opponent so it's all there for the opponent not for you and it's not the ideal plate if you are pinning that i would say so yeah and i have considered that plate as well but it's no way perfect all right the bleeding starts and i have not bled out yet that's a good thing I would uh, prefer some time to work with my moveset before I bleed out at least. Mm, I'll go for this, I'll go for this. Yeah, that's about it. Why was that lagging? Did I win or something? 148? No, that was for him winning, I guess, not me. Now I get the bleed. No, I didn't. Did a decent damage. That all. Uh, that was all because of the skill plate. Go for this. I'll go for this. And yeah, there's a lot of blues that I won't be getting, but it's fine, I guess. He has the class advantage, by the way. He can kick out any day. Hmm, a lot of blues for you. But he's going for the green. Wow. He got everything there. I still not bled out. 26% chance against. Against all odds. Wow. Did I manage to win this as well? heal some more <laughs> give me some rating all right that was one good match for a healer and that's it for randy savage the moto savage we heard on to the next opponent 
all right the next opponent is tomasa champa another major player in nxt now in main roster i feel like they are going to go places and yep in the game excited to see them as well um well he is using the general move silence 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 to green and then the finisher which converts silence to black yep it's a weird move set but it works in this syntax if he uses the skill plate uh, something like uh, eternal positivity those blacks are going to give him purple so yeah he's not using the skill plate this is all on equal grounds with other superstars yep that's the way we go oh and uh tomaso champa i feel like i have a legit fighting chance against him unless he gets a pretty good board psycho killer they have named him black heart in this game it does look like a resident evil guy um the giant resident evil guy you guys are familiar i mean uh, on his titan tron when they show him it does look like him yeah, taking all my gems bro well 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 these silence gems are going to make uh, my life difficult by the way that i did not see <laughs> before match in a way it's a chance that i recycle my moves and he's definitely putting those chances to red there's a lot of yellows on the board i don't like that at least give me a couple of matches yeah but it didn't fulfill my blue as i said silence gem is going to be a trouble maker in this hmm he might get his finisher and uh, in this game right away the skill plate uso cap i think it's the uso cap where uh, you get a um, gem boost for gem damage boost for um greens when you place silence gems i think that is perfect for champa i haven't looked at the stats how much that would do so i haven't even considered the push champ by the way it's not using this move by the way uh, it's weird the ai has decided not to use it so far giving me some sort of a fighting chance why does he pick okay So every time he makes silence gems he's going to get a boost uh, for his greens is it greens greens uh, i think uso cap does a green gem boost and we make them see the silence gem effect i didn't consider it at first but yeah that's another factor that is going to make my recycling a lot harder <sighs> every turn he's going to make silence at this time i need a move that gives me um blue mp gain blue mp something like that or just use the finisher and end it already <laughs> very talented appropriate word at this time makes sense what if i do this yeah what if i do this anyway it's taking time right so i'll just do this then yeah why didn't i think of this before i would have saved a lot of time there i'm not going to use the finisher then what's the point okay now i need 
Red match. Somewhere, I need to fill up my moves. And... Or else this is going to take a long time. Ah, red gem, red match. And he's going to cover it up all. Cover it all up with silence. I have the blues now, waiting for reds. Alright, finally. Somewhere he is just making uh, my life uneasy. Not using the finisher but the silence. That's a psycho killer I guess. Psycho killer in the way he was in NXT. That's what he does. So realistic. The game is so realistic guys. Alright, that was unexpected, but uh, I guess it was my 15th or uh, more than, um, I don't know which turn it is, everything I'll just... Yeah, that counting turns is something that takes a while. They should have a turn counter right here or something. Which turn it is. Unnecessary part of the UI, I guess, but uh, it helps to make these review videos. Devs, if you are listening, just to make the review process much easier, can you put turn counter at the top? I don't know why the turn counter only exists in tag team matches, not uh, single player matches. But it's there. There is an option, you can just activate it in solo matches. Or is it there? I haven't seen it. I haven't noticed. What if I win this match in turn 2? What do you guys say? Just give me the red match and it will all be good. Too much happy thinking. See there is no counter for... Oh! That's a good board. That is a pretty good board to start with. Ah, here comes the silence. And he's going to put out silence. Oh, my gems. I could have taken this later. But there is. Ah, let's return for him. Taking all the wild gems and just putting silence on the board. And he takes blues. What a psycho killer he is. He's just there to make so much trouble. Okay, this is going to destroy some of the gems. Just seeing the silence gems across the board. Oh yes, this board is all happening, guys. Oh, near fall, near fall, near fall. Somehow, Jumper has decided not to use the finisher. So this turned out one weird match. I'll take your greens. I'm a psycho killer myself. Alright. I won't go for this. My gems have been boosted. I mean my moves have been boosted already. Um, I'll go for this part as well. I'll go for this. Uh, this part.
Oopsie. I didn't mean to do that. But that's fine. Silence jumps are gone, but he's going to place it once again. Uh, recycling. The man who struggles with recycling is struggling with silence gems. This thing you can only uh, find if you are playing actually the game. This never is clear enough. And look at this. This, 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 wow. There was not a single. Use the finisher already. What are you doing, Champa? After eternity, I have finally won this game. <laughs> do this till I'll get more damage out of this nice and yes that's it for Tomaso Champa a weird way to extend the match with silence gems that's one thing I'll definitely consider in the future but All right, on to the next opponent. All right, the next opponent is Striker Balor. He is still in WWE and he is relevant still. This is the move set that he's using. He has a basic bleed for five turns. Plus, he has a move that is going to recycle his green. In green, in turn, he's going to make more black jumps on the board so that he can get these two moves ready so he's a recycler in a way having all the basic mp trainers plus also gem generators so let's begin i wouldn't call him ancient he came way um, after uh, cena was in the game but yeah definitely uh, is uh, outdated to say the least all right Reds always nice to see that taking greens he's going to make a lot of black gems on the board is it random yes it is random so i won't be focusing on that he has a basic blade so i think i should pull through For five turns doing 20k, so all right. Was that a choose move? Was that a choose move? Swap a random area, uh, even the random areas are perfect when it's operated by AI, so. Almost felt like that was a choose move. Now then. Um, this portion, this portion, this portion. Or maybe I'll go for... Uh, I'll go for this part. Okay. I think I've done well in this the casket stuff he's a striker by the way so armor is probably not that significant in this case but let's see ah 
स्ट्राइकर चल डैमेज टू ओ पी I'm still bleeding by the way. I just noticed that animation for uh what do you call it? Sit out hit toss. No, what I'm doing? Uh this part I guess. And this part I guess. Or maybe not this. I'll go for this. Preserving some yellows so that it's not all over. Now I can get yellows in the process so that I get blue MP. and it has pinned him so wow went pretty well i was not in a real danger because skin baller is not the modern design sort of so pretty much as expected there are more opponents by the way which i feel like will be a tough tough competition in this video so yeah you guys might have already seen in the description i keep saying that but yeah some might have missed this might be the first video that you're watching and some way you have clicked past a lot of things that i've said in this video to this point and you have list uh suddenly you are seeing you are seeing finn valor versus Cena. can happen all right I try to make these entrances uh, in this video so that when I edit it out uh, in my review video I get that perfect match entrance and everything right away so this is going to give my blue MP ready but I, I can do everything in the next turn and take away the blacks that he has collected in the board So that he takes his greens. Oh, I took yellows. I didn't see that coming. All right. Now then, what would I do in this case? I'll take this. I'll take. Uh, I'll take this probably. No, I would, I would rather go for. Uh, Rose. This is better, I feel. Instead of columns this time. Okay. There, there is going to be a lot of black gems on the board. Look at the move damage that he's doing to, to 20,000. That's something I have. But it's just that tested loyalty skill plate that is additional to this setup. Giving him an edge over Finn Balor. Okay, this is going to give some blues on the board. One match, I see. I will need this one before. Is it over? Why did it lag? <laughs> in the turns department, I'm definitely losing out a lot of points in the review. So that's one thing. Uh, it's not like I'm losing every match, but I've lost plenty in this review. I think I've lost two matches so far. 
and there are few opponents as well that I think I'm guaranteed losing against them so in a way I will be losing a lot more points than what I predicted now where do we go from here I'll just take this no need to go for entire row break it's fine if I just recycle the reds Oh man, what a setup for him. Yeah, I won it anyway. Alright, that was two matches against Finn Balor. There's a couple more opponents I need to face in this review. And yeah, we'll see. All right, the next opponent is going to be the one guy that I thought I'll have him in the roster. It's been ages since he is in the game, but still I feel like he should be my new gen uh, powerhouse and I'll be facing him instead in this time. <laughs> I wanted him not for the review, but uh, just to get his uh, coaching ability because that coaching ability is going to help every protect gem guy. Anyway, uh, enough about that. Let's uh, see his move set. He's having a finisher, which is pretty much a boosted finisher, I guess. Seventy thousand at this level, it's pretty good. And this finisher, uh, this uh, red move is going to boost all his gems by sixty-three percent for two turns. So this finisher gets boosted by this, and he gets recycled. A perfect design in uh, terms of uh, the superstars that were released over a year ago. So. Yeah, I'm not winning this, guys. He has the gem damage boosted by 63% plus 25% class advantage. This is just death wish for Acrocena right now. But it will show what uh, he actually is in the game. Like, so, yep, it's all good. And he has his moves ready. Wow. Is it a 1 MP move? All the time I have wanted uh, him to be my new gen powerhouse. I haven't seen his moves yet. <laughs> Don't. I just realized that. I'll take the greens. Don't want to recycle. Look at this. This is the death wish right now. It's an 8 MP move. He's using double MP trainer, right? Not even double, double MP trainer. What the hell is going on? That's just weird. Oh, okay, okay. He got it from the greens. I forgot that. So, uh, thinking too much. And that's it. That's the best I can go for I just gave him a punch and he says Nana he gave me a backbreaker boost his gems by 63% and then back what was that that was a weird leg drop or that was just a splash look at the damage that he does Look at Cena with his 30k over this. <laughs> Cena buried. Alright, Earthquake. You have won. In a way, this makes me uh, want him even more. For the game, not for the review. There are couple of people who I want them in the roster there are a couple of people who I want them for the review so it's two different goals uh, that I have in the game so far I've tried to separate them and uh, so far the reviews things are going pretty well there's a lot of reviews already on the channel and there's a lot of people coming so now the new review videos are only going to have one match plus moveset and all the stats in a way 
and that is going to be just a display oh this time i won't be even able to do my moves yeah this move is filled from the get-go 8 mp move and he's having only 1 mp trainer i don't get this part is it unfair how is that even possible it's not using double mp trainers right i don't see butch in his training thing something fishy or maybe it's gear okay his gear i forgot about his gear sorry about that <laughs> <laughs> I forgot totally about his gear guys It's his gear that gives him that MP Oh Wow Oh man Is this a fighting chance that I was looking for? No, <laughs> I don't think that is going to help in any way. Yeah, fine, you won. Alright, <laughs> that's it from Earthquake. See you again, maybe in my roster. Still hopeful of getting him. Alright, on to the next opponent, guys. Alright, the next opponent is... Tech Kofi, he has this move set running, and he is going to do trouble in paradise, uh, and is it that destroys the uh, area, two by six area. This Russian leg sweep is going to boost the gems, green gems, by one forty six percent, four turns. This he does every turn, by the way, and he is also going to. This is just a move damage for the color turns. I don't have color turns, so I don't know why this move is being used, but yeah, is. Uh, one MP move is going to factor in if he does his finisher. In this way, I feel like Tina so far has lost four matches amount in 20. That's around 80% wins. So I still have to face another opponent. So yeah, I don't know if I'll win this one as well. Let's see. Oh, I'm glad you take it. This is going to give one match. Okay. So I'll not go for the wild gem. I'll just go for this. But I was able I was going to pin him anyway. Go for the greens, yes. All the greens, take it. That is going to boost the greens by 146 so i will have to make sure he doesn't have a green match during kickout this is just a uh, more damage so let's see let's see um, i'll go for this go for this and go for this. Ah, uh, he does have a green match. Plenty, in fact. That is not going to keep him down. I have to take all his HP, by the way. If he gets to his finisher before that, I'm done. sort of uh, yeah he is getting his finisher now I'll have to get my blues before that so if he boosts uh, his green gem damage twice Does it take him to 280, 292 uh, something, 292 uh, gem boost? Yeah, it does feel like he it got him there. Because right now he just did like...
all right all good um, I'll go for this I'll go for this and I'll go for this did I win it yes There are no green matches, buddy. Three. He's out. Out of luck. If he had any green matches, that would have been another round. But things went the other way. Anyway, I've won. Glad to see that. There's one more match against Kofi, and there's last opponent, final opponent in the end. It's not Drew, by the way. <laughs> uh, I've tried to make this video with superstars that I haven't faced in any other review. Maybe there's one or two who I have faced, but try to make it that way. All right, Kofi, uh, you were not lucky in the previous battle, but let's see. Nice. Nice beginning. All right. This is not going to give me any blues. Just making sure I have the right amount of MP. <laughs> okay. So. So far, I'm doing good. This will probably go this way, this will go this way and we'll have some uh, reds right here and another red is always left out when you have center area you can just do this in that case okay two rows there's a green match right here That's a lot of damage. <laughs> he is kicking out with. I don't like the lag that happened. Probably it indicates that I haven't won this match. I have. Okay. That was unnecessary. I but still, I see two matches, so maybe I'll get my MP. Perfect. Damn, 99. My gem damage is, uh, I mean, move damage is off the roof. Off the roof. Off the roof. Uh, what should I do in this case? Uh, let's go for this. There's this gem that has been left out if there's a skill plate uh, similar to this uh, destroying the red gems would boost your blue gems blue move that would be perfect but there's no skill plate like that so far so yeah <sighs> So the final opponent next and uh, I'll see if I can do more matches and yeah final note at the end Brock he is I think maybe featured in one of the videos or maybe not um, maybe uh, but yeah he's the final opponent right here he is having 700k health which is even more than what I have 
that hollow star affects a lot he is the sort of guy who is going to do the submission and with his multiply gems plus at, uh, he has a choose move of uh, making black so yeah he's formidable opponent and pretty much a very late character with the old design maybe he has this uh, x pack uh, to get his red mp plus he has mp tainer and also titus o'neill to get his black so let's see how it goes he gets his multiplies only after he places the submission so yeah that's something in that takes him backwards it's a sort of a design where you need to improvise and make him better he's great with the skill plates the current skill plates but still if i ever decide to review him i think it would be great currently he's not on the list all right no red match that's something i didn't think of uh, i'm giving him a red match ah. i'll also take a red match nice all right done he will get his submission but i think before that he's going to pin me it's going to oh ai yeah, is good in this i believe he's going to pin me the pin bar is at the center yeah he's going to pin me wow the double armor help me out here um i'll go for this one Go for this one. Any matches? I see only one here. That's it. That is going to cause some cascade. That's fine. I'm going to go for. This one, this one, and this one. Now, next turn it's going to be the submission plus uh, the destroy multiply as well. He's ready with. It'll be easy for him to kick out. He's a striker. Submission. No counter for submission yet. One of the few strikers whose submission makes sense. Because it's a setup move, so yeah, it will always make sense. Um, nothing here. Why? Why make me do this? Okay, wrongly placed. Submissions there, he's going to take MP from something that he is not using. Green, I mean. Okay, now that I don't see any match for myself, it's quite slow in a way. Fine. We are equal. Mano y mano do that maybe i'll kick out maybe i'll not that will end the game we will know if it's a lag enough with the cascades okay i need a match so that will be provided by this hopefully it's not a wild gem that will be a bigger cascade ah take the submission again that's weird <laughs> did you guys think he is not going to kick out don't underestimate ken shamrock when it comes to striker he is the striker i mean actually a striker all the mma, MMA guys should be a striker in this game wow What's happening, guys?
Damn. Not making it easy. He's not making it easy for me, I mean. Any matches? I see one match. That's nice. The moves in this moveset make much more sense I'm, and I'm so happy about it. Even though, even though this is an outdated design, the result from what um, this moveset took, uh, the tested uh, loyalty skill plate plus the thing that was pretty much unexpected. Um, to have a, a title for him because I was looking for uh, his title for some time there. Uh, Ruthless Aggression characters don't have titles in any way uh, in the odds from the prize wall, so it's a long wait. And until and unless I get a Cena uh, title, I didn't think I would have been made making this review. So yeah, it was. Long wait to do this. It's an any Cena title, so I can uh, simply give this to any other Cena if uh, I'm working on them in the future. So this is not the only Cena that is in the list, by the way. There will be one more Cena. I won't uh, spoil it though. Um, the eight other Cena, you guys <laughs> will know once he appears. So there's another Cena that I'll be pushing. And uh, this will just be the heel Cena. Heel Cena. Oh, he still gets his black MP. Wow. Great. Great. He gets his red MP. No, he took his black. Fine. Fine. Can. Can. Why did I go for the wild jump? If there is no red, obviously I should go for blues. I don't like this. then if I survive this I'm winning uh, survive this I mean okay finally he gives me a chance uh, there's a lot of uh, things happening right here at least it was <laughs> bit spread out. Wait, if I do this, it'll be fine. If I do this next, it'll be fine. Yeah, perfect. Now then, I will be getting blue MP and red MP. I didn't think he would be struggling to get his MP, but I think right now he will. That is going to destroy multiplies, which doesn't have a setup. Oh. Oh, fine. So he manages to do the best. Any match? Any match? Any match? I don't see a match. Okay, so here's part that it's 
Once again, he'll be matching. I think he'll pin me, so all good there. Yeah, he never uh, compensates or compromises on how many gems he can choose. Wow, that was a big damage right there. Took out all the MP. I can do this the right way. I think I won. Yeah, I won. Alright, the last two matches haven't been that easy, they haven't been that bad, but still, for the reputation Acro Cena has, I think this has been great. So usually what I do the, uh, in these matches is I go for the stipulation matches, preview, re uh, preview, I mean review, uh, even I go for faction feud, even showdown, but since um, I won't be finding any five star bronze in showdowns i won't be doing that and also uh, the other game modes the faction boss and everything i don't think he qualifies to do anything else he has uh, a good thing going with this setup i feel like if uh, you need a ruthless aggression acrobat hurricane hands down there's no denying that Hurricane is much better than what Cena is uh, in terms of design, in terms of damage and everything. So if you need an acro ruthless aggression, there's no doubt that he is much better. But if there is any requirement that you need Chain Gang Cena for, and if there is any necessity of this um, entourage, it's 16k and this is where you stop, 5 star bronze so regardless of what rating he gets i don't know at it's at this time you guys will already know it because that video always comes up first i think you have to make him 16k if you need this if not uh yeah you can go with hurricane any day and uh ruthless aggression china chain gang required there will be heavy rewards for something i think he will do well with this setup even if you don't have this uh, skill plate i feel like going double armor Plus, um, with uh, any heal gem uh, skill plate, if there is any in the future, or any recycling moveset uh, with this uh, with this uh, skill plate. At this time of recording, there is no relation to blue or red. So, if there is any skill plate that converts uh, things to blue, if you break reds, I suppose <laughs> it would be great. But for now. I see only two skill plates that can work with this. It's either almost a uh, colossal chain and uh, that even that is like a random thing. So yeah, you can try that as well. Or it's this plate. Uh, it's just that the damage he needs a lot of boost. So yeah, that will be it for this tale of the tape, guys. I'm not going to explore any other areas uh, with uh, Acrosina. As I said, he is uh, quite underwhelming at this point. I waited like three years to make a video on his and make a review. There have been so many changes, so many additions in the game. And right now he stands at this situation where he is sort of overshadowed by Hurricane, Acro Hurricane. All right, that will be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in another Tale of the Tape and have a nice day, guys. Bye-bye.